So how do I get my clear skin? I really don't have clear skin. A lot of you guys, mmm, that wasn't cute. A lot of you guys think I have really, really clear skin, but I really don't. And it really is like crazy to me because I suffer from acne. I've been suffering from acne since I was in high school. In ninth grade, I had perfect clear skin. And then when I got into 10th grade, my skin just took a turn for the worst. I had really bad acne in the middle of my forehead, on my cheeks. It kind of was everywhere. So I went through tons and tons of products to figure out what works best for me. I kind of recommend that and I don't recommend that at the same time. Well, I I recommend you doing it smart. If you're using five different products at one time, first of all, that's bad for your skin and second of all, you're not gonna know which product is working and which product is not working. When I recommend looking for products that's good for your skin, I suggest you try one product and you try it out for at least three weeks only just that product alone just to see if it works well with your skin and then you can figure out if that's the product for you or if it's not with me i figured out that my skin although i'm acne prone it doesn't like acne products which is really weird and you see in a lot of um stores acne for acne for breakouts and you are prone to pick those up because you're suffering from acne but for me I personally cannot use anything with sicilic sicilic acid or um, what is it called again? Benzoyl peroxide. I can't use any of those products because it breaks me out really bad. I don't know why I picked up this product, but I finally picked up a product that really works well with my skin and it's not geared for acne at all. It's just a cleanser. And um, every time someone comes to me asks me what to use on their skin and they have acne, I tell them just try a cleanser without any acne medications or anything because maybe you have an acne medication overload on your face because you're using the creams, you're using the wash, you're using everything that's geared towards acne and your face is hating you for it. <laughs> I picked up the Morning Burst Clean and Clear Morning Burst um, facial cleansers and it looks like this I'm out of it because this is the only thing I use they have different colors they have um, the yellow one which is this one is a skin brightening and this one really actually just it really brightens up your face um, not lightens but brightens up brighten huh it really brightens up your face um, they have the the PM nighttime I think one um, I use that one too but this is the one I always come back to because it just makes my skin feel way better than the rest and it just smells really good I use this morning and night I wash my face twice a day if I skip a beat if I miss the morning or miss a night I will have a breakout so I try to wash my face twice a day my skin is a combination between dry and oily when I wear makeup and stuff I tend to get oily right in here but I don't know my skin is really weird because when I wash my face with this it makes your face really dry by the way so if you have really really dry skin I don't recommend it but I love it so I have dry skin but I counteract it with a moisturizer so it's not really that bad but when I wash my face with any any cleanser my skin gets really really dry afterwards so I have to use a moisturizer that's kind of heavy um, but when I wear makeup I get oily so I have like a battle <laughs> between oiliness and dryness on my face this is the only one that I love like the Cetaphil Cetaphil moisturizing cream and I love the cream I've tried the lotion too but the cream is just very moisturizing to my face so I love this um, product and without this my face feels really really tight when I'm exfoliating or using this new product that I love now um, when I'm exfoliating which I exfoliate maybe once a month I don't exfoliate too much because it breaks me out when my face is looking a little like dull or it's just really like has dead skin on it I'll exfoliate with the St. Ives fresh skin and this is not geared towards acne either none of my products that I have is geared towards acne I do not use any acne products at all on my face at all which brings me to my next thing that I use on my face which I just started well I didn't just start using I've been using on and off since um uh, since when since like around May June area I forgot when but on and off since then and um 
I would use this with the product, which with the tool, which is the PMD. And um, I just love this product. Like I use a sensitive tip. I haven't gone up to the regular tip yet because I'm just scared. Like my face is really sensitive, and this is a real, this is like micro micro micro. <laughs> this is micro derivation, so it can really like peel off your skin if you use the wrong tip. When I do use it, it really like changes the texture and feel of my face. Like my face feels way softer. Um, it just glows more. It just looks very nice after I use this. So I really like this and it's less expensive than going to the dermatologist and getting a microdermabrasion treatment. And it actually might be better because you have the different types that you can use based off your skin. So. I really really like this product and actually I have a coupon code that you guys can use as a 25% um, discount off of the PMD and it's Young and Weave Addict. I'll leave it right here and I'll leave it down below and I'll leave the link down below so you guys can know exactly where to get it. Click right on it and purchase. I will recommend this product. Um, it really does help with the overall feel and texture of my skin. And last but not least, guys, this is the most, the biggest thing to clear skin. I promise you that. Like, you can use the best products in the world, but if you're not doing this, your skin is looking, is gonna look like trash. Water, guys. Water. Keep a jug like this, okay? Now, I will, I do not drink water like this. Um, I used to, but then I stopped. And I gained like 23 pounds since like January because I've been with my boyfriend. That's another story. Water, you guys. Water. You need to drink like at least, at least like half of this bottle. You can start off slow. You can drink a quarter and then the next day half and then you can just work your way up to the full, you know, bottle. But try to increase your water intake it is the most important thing that you can do for your face your body everything i'm really 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 trying to increase my water intake because i have been drinking and eating really really bad that's why i've gained like 23 pounds which is crazy soda is another bad thing for your skin so try to cut that out as much as you can um but water you guys water and i cannot stress this enough and that is all you guys that I use on my face. I do not use anything else. I do not touch my face at all. I don't like touching my face during the day. Your hands are dirty. Keep away from touching your face. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys like this video. I know a lot of you guys wanted to um, know my skincare routine. So please thumbs this video up if you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. And I thank you, thank you, thank you guys for getting me to 30,000 subscribers. That's like crazy. That is crazy. So thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers. Wow. Um, and I thank you, Ivy, for Ivy and Lover for Fashion for um, shouting me out in your videos. And uh, <sighs> thank you so much. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later.